Honey Heart C. Welcome back, Manny's. We have a super duper fun craft today. You guys love the color changing video where I made a color changing staple mate. So now we are gonna be color changing this full right here. What? Yes, we are gonna change him into a color changer. How cute is this little schleich? I actually found this guy at Toys R Us. I actually bought myself one right here and this guy right here, ah, you can see he has a pretty bad scratch on him. So I think he would be absolutely perfect to customize. <laughs> So let's go ahead and customize this adorable little schleiky full. So first step is I'm going to clip off his little schleich tag here. I'm gonna take that off, there we go. All right, I'm gonna cover my work surface with some wax paper. So I'm gonna be using this BMC gel nail polish. Now gel nail polish is different from regular nail polish. We're gonna have to have it dry outside in the sun. It does not dry like normal nail polish because it's a gel nail polish. So this one is a super cool color change right here. It looks like it's called Summer Daydream Color. Ooh. So I am just going to take my full paint over that scratch right here. This gel nail polish goes on a lot thicker than normal nail polish too. So I'm hoping one or two coats should do the trick. Do, 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 do. Looks like I'm covering it in like candy or something. Does it look like candy? Ugh, I think it totally does. Go to the other side. Painting you in purple. And of course, mini fans, always when you're using nail polish, make sure you are in a well ventilated area. And for my younger mini fans, always have an adult help you. I'm gonna paint this beautiful little face. Goodbye. You have been gelled. Kind of looks like purple jelly. Purple, purple jelly. Ba, ba, da, da, da. All right, now that my horse is completely coated in our gel nail polish, I'm going to go set him now in a super sunny spot outside. So I guess it's like a sunny day project. Woo! And then the sun's UV rays will help cure and harden the nail polish because it's gel nail polish. All right, so here is my little full after two days of being out in the sun. So whenever you put your full out in the sun, make sure you turn it around carefully. So whatever side is facing the sun, it gets nice and cured on this side. And make sure you turn it around and it can be nice and cure on this side as well. So I did that for two days, of course, bringing him inside at night because I don't want him to be out there in the cold. <laughs> and he's looking really good. He has a slight little tackiness feeling, just a little bit, but he's really cool. Looks like we can probably put one more coat on him. So I'm going to paint one more coat on the full to kind of get some of these areas right here. Make sure it's nice and covered. All right, so he looks really good. So now that he's got his second coat of some of this nail polish on, I'm gonna put him right back out in the sun to let him cure. All right, so my full now has a second layer on and looks super good. So now we're gonna give him his eye back. So I'm gonna take a little bit of some black paint and a toothpick, put a little bit of a blobby on my toothpick and just give him his eye back. There we go. And this side of him, his eye back. Perfect. Now I'm gonna coat the full in some clear nail polish. Cover the whole entire full. He's gonna be super duper glossy. Woo, do, do, do. We gotta protect that paint so he can color change forever and ever. Ooh, he's looking really, really good. Okay, now we're gonna paint his mane and tail with this color. Ooh, it's called Purple Rain. Do, do, do. Look at that rich color. So we'll give him his mane back. Here we go, little tiny hair. So to get into some of this area right here in between his ears, this brush is a little bit too thick to get in there. I'm gonna put a little bit on a toothpick like that. Oh, it's so sticky. And I'm just going to use this toothpick now as a little brush and brush it on. Perfect. Oh, this looks like a perfect, like, it looks like a, a like raspberry jam color or something. I feel like I'm putting like jelly on this horse. And of course we'll paint his tail. Big globby, totally looks like jelly, which makes me jelly. Can't go wrong with jam. All the way in, paint around him. Well, if you happen to get any of this gel polish on him, just go ahead and wipe it, no problem. Get more on my toothpick here and help me do some more detailing. Whoop, painting in here. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go place him right back into the sun so his hair can harden. And I'm gonna paint a second coat on in case it needs it. Wanna make sure that color is nice and strong. All right, back into the sun he goes. Whoop. All right, he's back from sitting out in the sun and now I'm, I'm gonna coat his mane and tail with some clear polish. Seal in all of that gel color. 
All right, now I'm just gonna let him dry. Now we're gonna paint our little foals' feet, so we've gotta give them different color hooves. So now we're gonna use this straw melon, so it's like a strawberry melon color. Now I'm going to paint the bottom of his feet and very carefully around his hooves so he can have color changing hooves. Now of course when I set him in the sun, I'm now gonna set him on his side so it doesn't ruin the gel nail polish. So keep on painting and then we'll put him out in the sun to dry. Da -da 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 -da. All right, after he's back from hanging out in the sun, we are now gonna seal in the color with our clear nail polish. Go all the way around that hoof, there we go, and then let him dry. All right, now it's time to see the magic of color change on our little Schleichful. So I've got some icy, icy cold water here where I've got some ice cubes floating in there and some really hot, hot water here. Now let's color change. So now we have our fold that's this like really pretty like, like pinky purple color with a purple tail and kind of strawberry color hooves. Color change! Oh, the hooves are changing color! Oh, look at the full! Oh, wow! Get them all the way in there and change that color. I mean, you look at that color change! Get them all the way in there. Color change completely. There we go. Now you're purple. Okay, that is now going icy, icy cold. Now let's go super warm water. Ooh, ooh. Look at coloring blue! Whoa! The horse turned blue! Wow, okay, that was a really big change. And back to being pink. Woo! Now it's like a half and half. I mean, look at that color change. It's actually like blue, pink, and then purple because it takes a while for that blue color to kind of turn this purpley color. Oh, look at that. So it's actually almost like we have three different colors on this little foal. So purple, back to being blue. Woo! Woo, look at that. All right, I hope you minis enjoyed this video of color changing this schleiky full. If you happen to create your own color change horse, please, please, please send me the video. I would love to see how it turned out for you. Do not forget to subscribe for more horse fun. Stay awesome, mini fans. Mini! Look at those spots on him. Okay, seriously, I feel like I could do this all day long. You are purple. Whoop. <laughs> purple to blue. Actually, it goes from like pink to blue. Ah, just like magic. Whoop. Now it's kind of a pink color horse. Cool. Seriously, three colors in one. Okay, I will see you, Mini Pants, in my next video. I'm serious. I'm going to do this all day long. Woo. Bye, Minis. Me. Woo. Thank you for sharing your awesome fan art with me. Thank you. Thank you. Get your feet colored, woo! Turning pink now, woo! Oh, mini fans, hey, in the comments section, can you please put color crazy full? Cause look at these colors, seriously, you can mix them up in so many different ways, woo!